Oh my gosh, are you hungry? They're the biggest cockroaches I've ever seen. All right guys, my name is Thomas Passy, and today I'm back with another video that you guys have all been asking for. This is the Feeding All My Pets video. If you haven't already, please be sure to check out my Meeting All My Pets video after watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications if you haven't already because I'm almost at my goal of 100,000 subscribers. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Thomas Passy. And yeah, let's get into the video. All right guys, so here's my beautiful Argentine Tegu. Let's see if he wants to eat a mouse. I hope he does. Do you want to eat? Are you hungry? Okay, he is hungry. That is so cool. Whoa, it's already down his throat. Argentine Tegus make amazing pets. And I definitely recommend them to anyone who wants a big lizard. Good boy. All right guys, so here's my chameleon. Uh, I won't be feeding him because he really does not like my camera, but I will tell you what I feed him. And uh, what I feed him actually consists of super worms, mealworms, crickets, horn worms, and he really likes eating all of that. And uh, Rango also likes eating lettuce and uh, blueberries, actually. Blueberries are his favorite. So I'm going to leave him alone because I know he hates my camera. And uh, yeah, let's move on to a reptile. I just tried feeding Oscar some crickets and super worms and dubia roaches, but he really does not want to eat anything right now. So I'm just gonna have to leave him, but here he is. He's a very big leopard gecko, nice fat tail. And he's very famous on my live streams. A lot of you guys love him. So yeah, that's all I have to say about Oscar. Let's go on to another animal. All right guys, so here is my Kenyan sand boa. I'm gonna go ahead and feed him this little uh, pinky mouse. Let's see if he's hungry. I'll wiggle it near his head. Oh, there we go. It was definitely hungry. Now watch, when I lift this up, he will wrap all around it. He does that every time I feed him. Perfect, all right, now he's actually got my tongs too. There we go. He's a little ball. All right, guys, that's it for this snake. Let's move on to another one. All right, guys, so right here is my Honduran milk snakes enclosure. It's a little tiny baby. And if you guys want to see what it looks like, you're going to have to go watch one of my other videos. You can watch the watering on my pets video, or you could even watch the video on the Honduran milk snake itself from when I first got it. I don't want to pick it up right now because it's underground and I don't want to mess with it before I feed it. And uh, usually what I do with this one is I'll take the mouse, I'll take it and I'll lay it right there. And then I'll wait overnight. The snake will come out at night, eat the mouse, and then it'll be gone. This one usually doesn't like eating from my tongs like my pythons do, but this works. It loves eating like this. So that's what I do. Now we'll move on to another snake and we'll see if it wants to eat. All right guys, so here we are in my reticulated pythons enclosure. I'm gonna go ahead and lift up this bark. And there she is, my reticulated python. She's a normal reticulated python. She's currently eating large rats. Unfortunately for this video, I won't be able to feed her because if you look at her eyes, they are blue. And that means that she is in shed. Reticulated pythons grow very fast, so you can expect a lot of shedding. Uh, I don't want to bother her too much. We can already see that she's breathing a little bit heavily. She doesn't really like me coming into her enclosure like this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down. I don't want to bother her too much. All right. So I'm gonna leave her alone, and now I'm gonna feed another snake for you guys. All right guys, this is my carpet python. This snake has such a strong feeding response that it's even coming up to my hand as I'm opening this. So I'm gonna open this cage. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead. Oops, you know what? It's actually coming up here. All right. Oh, uh, I got the mouse right here. Do you want it? 
Oh my gosh, she did want it. Okay. I'm gonna let her finish that. Now I gotta put the locks on the cage. And yeah, obviously one little tiny mouse is not enough for this huge snake. Uh, this snake gets rats, either rats or a bunch of tiny mice. That's all I feed this snake. Uh, but definitely one tiny little mouse does not cut it for a snake this size. Uh, one tiny mouse will cut it for a Kenyan sand boa or a milk snake. But uh, once they reach this size, you have to make sure that you feed appropriate size prey. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Let's go on to another animal. All right, guys. So right here is actually my most expensive tarantula. Let's see if it's hungry. I'm going to drop the super worm in three, two, one. All right, there we go. A pretty good feeding. And it actually caught some moss with the worm. Can I take it away? Uh, all right, now I'll just leave him. He can fix himself. All right, let's move on to the next spider. All right, so I just picked up my Goody Sapphire Ornamental Tarantula's enclosure, and she ran into this corner, so I'm gonna drop a cricket right next to it and see if it wants to eat. Uh-oh, the cricket just went over there. Let's see, walk, okay, let's see if it's hungry or not. One more step and that cricket is dead or I am because that tarantula is going to run straight up <laughs> and I'm very close to it. All right. Hmm. It seems to be touching it, but the tarantula is not responding to that touch. All right. I'm going to wait a little bit more. Let's try to give it a little tap. I don't want to get too close. I think I moved the enclosure around too much and the tarantula is stressed out in that corner. So I'm going to have to remove the cricket and then see if it wants to eat at a later date. Alright guys, since my other P. Metallica didn't eat, I'm kind of hoping this one will eat for you guys. So I have the cricket in my hand and I'm going to drop it right on top of the tarantula. Oh, there we go. That was a perfect strike. I hope I got a good shot of it. Now it's back here. This tarantula is my favorite tarantula out of all of them. The P. Metallica is an amazing spider. All right, now let's move on to another animal. All right, so here are some of my millipedes. Uh, there's a much bigger one over here, if you guys are interested. And millipedes eat rotting wood, they eat vegetables, they eat fruits. Uh, they also need some calcium, so I do have some calcium. Actually, here's a calcium block, and they will chew on this. So that's what I keep in their enclosure. Uh, but yeah, basically all types of vegetables. Uh, stay away from tomatoes. That's basically all you need to know about millipedes. Uh, if you guys want to learn more about millipedes, check out my channel. But for now, let's move on to another animal. So now that we're on the topic of animals that eat vegetables, here is one of my giant cave roaches. These guys are actually huge. They're the biggest cockroaches I've ever seen. And I have five of these males and one female. Uh, they eat vegetables, they eat meat, they eat a bunch of stuff. And there we go. So yeah, five males, one female. These are my favorite cockroach species ever. And yeah, now that we're on the topic of these cockroaches, I thought you guys might also like to know that these guys actually emit a very weird smell when you hold them. Uh, I watched a video by Coyote Peterson, and he actually said like they smell like maple syrup. And uh, I don't know if it smells like maple syrup, but it's definitely a strange smell. It's not bad, but it's strange. And uh, I guess you would have to experience it in real life to see for yourself. So if you ever get the chance to own this species, uh, I definitely recommend it. Pet cockroaches make amazing pets. And there's my other male. So yeah, let's move on to the next animal. All right guys, so here's one of my Mexican fire leg tarantulas. I'm gonna go ahead and feed it a super worm in three, two, one. Oh, I think this is just gonna be a little strike. Yeah, there we go. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that feeding. Now let's move on to the next one.
Uh, I was about to feed my Texas brown tarantula and it decided to crawl out of its cage. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna eat anymore, but I don't know, we could try. Let's see if it wants to eat this. Does it... Oh my gosh, that was crazy. I don't want it to fall. I actually got really scared right there. Now that was a gone wrong moment. All right, now can I put gone wrong in the title or no? All right, let's see if it, is it gonna eat like that? Is that even possible? I don't think it wants to eat out of the cage. All right guys, I'm gonna have to put this guy back in the cage. Oh, I'm a little bit scared. Oh, is it gonna eat? No. All right guys, I'm gonna put this guy in the cage. I'm just gonna put it back into the enclosure and we'll move on to the next animal. All right guys, so right here is my Nandu Chromatis. It's kind of in a weird position right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and drop the super worm right next to its head. So let's go. Three, two, one. Oh, what just happened? There we go. This spider is always ready to eat. It's a great eater and it has very nice colors. I'm a big fan of the black and white. So that's it for this spider. Let's move on to the next one. All right guys, so here is my Chaco Golden E Tarantula inside of its enclosure, which it digs all around. I have a whole video about it on my channel. So if you haven't seen it already, please do. And uh, actually all the dirt that is not there goes into its water bowl. I don't know why it always fills up its water bowl with dirt. But anyway, let's feed it. Three, two, one. There we go. This one's always a very good eater. If you guys want to see me change its water bowl, please watch my watering all my pets video. You guys will see this one there. And yeah, that's it for this one. Let's move on to the next one. All right guys, so right here is my salmon pink bird eater tarantula. As you can see, that flower pot that I used to use as its hide is actually very small right now. So I'm gonna to have to upgrade that. The spider actually grew very fast. I'm gonna go ahead and feed her. I'm gonna place it right in front of her and hopefully you guys can get a good feeding reaction. Oh, okay, that was very fast actually. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this feeding. And now let's move on to the next one. You guys are gonna see two other salmon pink bird eaters eat in this video. So I don't wanna take too long on this one. All right guys, so here's my Mexican red rump tarantula also known as my Mexican Lil Pump Tarantula. Let's go ahead and drop the super worm in. I know this guy's gonna eat. Let's go. Three, two, one. There we go. All right guys, that's it for this one. Let's move on to the next spider. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this one eat, but if it does come out, you will be able to see it eat. Let's drop the super worm in there. This is my H. Maculata. Three, two, one. Let's see if it's hungry. If it feels it, it should come up and eat. Uh-oh. I don't think it wants to eat. Actually, I think it does want to eat, but you guys won't see it in this video. That's what usually happens with this spider. Uh, this spider is very secretive and it hides inside of this cork bark. And we usually never get to see it. So, unfortunately, that's just how it is with tarantula sometimes. Uh, I'm not gonna let you guys stare at this for too long, so let's move on to the next tarantula. All right, guys, so here is my other Mexican fireleg tarantula. Let's go ahead and feed it. I know this one is hungry because it molted recently, but now it's time for its first feeding since that molt. There we go. This one has been a great eater ever since it was a baby. And I can't wait to watch it grow even bigger. All right, let's move on to the next spider. All right guys, so here's my beautiful curly haired tarantula. I'm gonna go ahead and feed it a super worm right now. There we go. This tarantula loves to eat super worms and this tarantula is huge. It's one of the biggest in my whole collection and I can't wait to keep owning it for several more years. Now, let's move on to the next tarantula. All right guys, so here's my Costa Rican Tigerum tarantula. 
I don't know if she's gonna eat because she has been acting a little bit weird lately, but let's see. Let's see her reaction to the super worm. Oh, maybe she's gonna eat. When they creep slowly like that, uh, that is usually a sign of interest. Yeah, I think she's gonna go in for it, but it might be a slow little strike. If anything, I'll just leave the super worm in there. But uh, no, I think she's gonna go in for it. She just needs a little bit of motivation. Let's try again. Put it right there. Maybe she'll go in for it. No, I guess she's not interested right now, but she was a little bit interested. So I'm gonna keep it in there for a little bit, but then I'll come back to the cage and if it's not eating it yet, I'll take it out. That's it for this one. Let's move on to the next animal. All right, guys, so in this hole right here lives my blue fang tarantula. This tarantula is just beautiful with its blue fangs and pinkish body. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a cricket in there. I'm gonna let it walk down the hole. You guys usually won't be able to see this one eat, but if we're lucky, it'll come out. I doubt it's gonna come out. Oh, I just saw the tip of its legs. You can't see it on the camera, but I saw the tip of its legs come and strike the cricket. All right, so that's it for this species. Let's move on to another one. All right, guys, so right here we have a very special tarantula. This is actually the first tarantula I ever owned. Let's see if it wants to eat a super worm. Oh, almost got it. It turns out this tarantula wasn't hungry right now, so let's go ahead and move on to the next animal. All right guys, so right here we have my Salmon Pink Bird Eater Tarantula. This is not the biggest I own, but it's also not the smallest. This one is a little bit crazy, so I'm gonna go ahead and feed it in three, two, one. Oh, I don't know what just happened right there. All right, let's give this one more shot. All right, there we go. I'm assuming it'll probably find the other one later. And uh, if I see it, I have to take the other one out, but for now I'll leave it in there. All right guys, so right here is my biggest salmon pink bird eater. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a super worm right in front of its face, so that way it eats. All right, three, two, one. Perfect. And the shadow of the worm was really cool. Look at those fangs, they're huge. All right guys, that's it for this spider. Let's move on to another one. All right guys, so right here is my huge Mexican red knee tarantula. I'm gonna go ahead and feed it. And there you go. That was a perfect strike from my Mexican red knee tarantula. This is one of my favorite tarantula species because of their beautiful knees, uh, their good feeding response, and their overall good temperament. But this one does kick a lot of hairs. All right, so there you go. That was a perfect strike from the Mexican red knee tarantula. This is a good species for beginners and they are amazing and beautiful. And those fangs are crazy. <laughs> All right, now let's move on to another tarantula. All right guys, so now it's time to feed my Costa Rican zebra tarantula. I have two super worms right here but you guys won't be able to see it eat because it does live inside of this hole. So for these animals, this is all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab the super worm and drop it right in. There you go. These guys will crawl right into the mouths of the tarantula. They are gone forever. All right, now let's move on to another animal. All right guys, so here's my Asian forest scorpion. Let's see if he wants to eat. I'm gonna place this right in his claws. And yeah, he is hungry. Let's get a close up of that. The super worm is currently in its claws and Asian forest scorpions usually don't use their stingers to eat. Uh, as you can see, it's not using its stingers at all because it has huge claws that it uses to kill the prey instead. All right, so let's move on to the next animal which will be another Emperor Scorpion. All right, so here's my Emperor Scorpion. I'm a little bit iffy about this one eating, but I'll give it a shot. Let's see. I think last time I fed it, it did eat. 
Uh, I might not be hungry. Oh, no, there we go. It was hungry. All right, perfect. There you go. Let's move on to another animal. Oh, wait. Maybe there's more action. <laughs> it's holding the super worm. I think it's getting bothered by me talking. Oh my gosh, and now this one came out. All right, I think it... I think this means it's time to move on to the next animal. All right guys, so here's my ember scorpion and I'm shining a black light on it. I don't know if it's gonna eat, but let's see. Oh, okay. It seems like it definitely was hungry. Uh-oh. All right, I think I'm just gonna leave him alone. Uh, all right, now let's feed another one. All right guys, so here's my Vingroon. I'm gonna go ahead and feed it a super worm. If you guys didn't know, these actually can spray acid that's 15 times stronger than average vinegar. So, uh, you might wanna be a little bit careful holding these too close to your eye, but if it gets on your skin, it's really no big deal. It just burns a little bit. My Vingroon looks kind of angry right now. I don't know what happened, but let's go ahead and try and feed it. Will it eat? I guess not. He doesn't look too hungry. And he looks full. So, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not gonna feed him this time. Uh, let's go feed another animal. All right guys, so right here is my fishing spider. Uh, I won't be able to feed this guy because there's just no way I can get a good angle. If I were to drop a cricket in there, like I do with my tarantulas, this guy just runs away from it. Uh, when I have to feed this one, I usually just throw crickets in there or I'll throw a dubia in there and I'll see it eating it after a while. But I mean, I can't just go in and film this one eat. It's very hard. So let's move on to another animal. All right, guys. So just like the other cockroaches I showed you guys, here are dubia roaches and also red runner roaches mixed in with some buffalo beetles and uh, all of these guys like to eat fruits and vegetables as well so anything i said about the other roaches can be applied to these as well so let's move on to another animal all right guys so here is my vietnamese centipedes enclosure unfortunately for the past week it's been underground so i'm gonna go see if i can get a shot of him so you guys can see a little bit but i won't be able to feed him in this video uh, these guys do have awesome feeding responses, so if you guys do want to see a feeding video of him, check out my other All My Animals video where I do feed the centipede. And uh, yeah, I have a bunch of other feeding videos of this centipede on my channel, so I definitely recommend you guys check it out. And there you go, that's the only shot I can get of the centipede right now. It's underground in its little cave. Uh, the centipede actually has a little tunnel system inside of its enclosure so that's where it hangs out and hopefully another night it'll come out and i'll be able to film it and post it as a full video in itself all right guys if you enjoyed this feeding video please let me know in the comments i just fed all my pets for you guys you guys have been asking for this video for the longest time so yeah if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I'm on the road to 100,000 subscribers. Comment what your favorite animal was. And that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching.